Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again. It's Memorial Day 2011. I'd like to say thank you to all the veterans out there. The subject today is uh, this throttle governed McCormick Deering one and a half horsepower uh, Model M engine. Some of you might call it a hit and miss, but uh, that's kind of a misnomer for this particular model. But anyway, this is the second part of a, a video that I made uh, two years ago, and I made some improvements since that time. If you want to go back and look at that other video, take a, uh, do a search through my videos for uh, McCormick Deering and you should find it. But if you recall in the last video, uh, I set this up with a uh, ignition system with points, condenser, and coil and, and used a battery. And the reason I did that is that when I bought this engine for about $250 a few years back, there was no magneto on it, and it calls for an EK magneto. Well, the EK magneto uh, is worth more than the engine, and I, being the cheap son of a gun that I am, I am I'm not about to put out that kind of money. But I have uh, removed this system. And I'll throw that away. And what I've done is I've installed a uh, magneto back there. Now I'm going to rotate the engine so you can get a better view of that. And it's chain driven off of the main crankshaft. And you can see the two sprockets there. There are 40 tooth sprockets. One to one ratio. I wanted to go one to two, but I couldn't find the right uh, sprockets. These are old bicycle sprockets. Again, I'm not one to spend much money, you know. That's a Fairbanks Morse Magneto, and it came off of a Wisconsin single-cylinder engine. And uh, I bolted a sprocket onto the gear. I had to do quite a bit of machining on this. And then up on the crankshaft, uh, I made a casting, I made a pattern and then a casting that uh, uh, is in two pieces and clamps over the crankshaft. And that was the real difficulty here is that uh, the sprocket had, had to be cut in two also and in turn bolted onto that casting. And uh, because I couldn't get the flywheel off, or I, I might have been able to get it off with heat, but I didn't want to uh, ruin anything. So I thought it would be better to uh, uh, put everything on there uh, so that I can take it off and throw it away if I run across an EK magneto. And down at the bottom there we've got an on and off switch which simply just grounds it. Uh, to turn it off, the same as any magneto was ground, <coughs> grounded uh, to kill it. Uh, the magneto is mounted in that bracket that I welded up uh, such that it also can be rotated, the same as any magneto or distributor can be rotated to get your fine timing. Uh, the rough timing was done just by selecting the right uh, spot on the sprocket for the chain. Now you safety Nazis out there, I don't want to hear a thing out of you regarding that chain and the sprocket and I do have a chain guard that I put on there here when I run it because I tell you if I do anything that is even minutely uh, dangerous I sure hear about it uh, considering uh, the, how dangerously most of you probably work and, and uh, I, I always thought myself as pretty safe and I'll show you why. There's ten fingers and they're all still there. In a moment here we'll run this beauty. Okay safety Nazis, I've got the uh, chain guard on and uh, I think that's a pretty good view of it. And now let's uh, see if she'll start. Got the oiler on, gasoline in there, water on, everything's been oiled up and uh, I think she's ready to go. Let's see. One more try. And away she goes. I think I'm running out of gas. 
Okay, now she's running pretty smooth. She's warming up a little bit. Normally this is a very good running engine. I'm going to turn it off and summarize this. If any of you have one of these and you need a magneto, uh, this is a solution, but I tell you, it's not easy. I spent many an hour thinking about this and even more hours uh, working on it and had a couple failures and had to restart and all of that. So uh, whether or not it was worth it, I don't know. But I didn't want the battery ignition to be on there because a battery is uh, just a nuisance. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now.